music, work it back into our communities, rehabilitate the unity. Young black women shine and don't be confused by my lines before they often try to take them and reconfuse. That's some hatred. Listen, my black child, I'm saying this because I love you for love and come with the lessons that's gonna live life all above you. The police gonna hate up on you. The government's never for you, but you can rise all above it as long as you keep your love. And I say this just because I care. And I care for You gotta tell us something new, homie. That we've been known. We've been known what Reagan's been doing. This is something been put out even before Kendrick. Come on, nigga. Come on. I equate to remind you, business, they told you, mind you. Listen. What I need to hear from you is what you spoke the last 30 seconds. Overcome it with the love that you got. That's all you need to do, bro. Stop focusing on. Yeah, you know what? People want to start. Look, don't matter. Don't matter. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I want to hear someone show some love for Candace Owens. How about that? See, I try to go embarrass her like that. I mean, I'm sorry, T.I., that ain't it. That ain't it. But that's what I'm saying. I like what Candace Owens is doing. I think, you know what? I don't give a damn what you think. I think she should run for president. She should be the first female president in the United States. I don't care what people think. Yes, she can be very passionate about things and she may come across as emotional when really it's not that's the case if anything she's got youth against her that's it if anything she's just young but lord knows i see a very talented gift in her she really cares about reforming things she wants to take the right steps and i'm pretty dead sure she knows she can't do it alone and she needs the right people with her i'm telling you if she gets a good strong team come on man come on all right at this point, don't you think if Donald Trump could be president, don't anyone else could? I'm just being real. Like, do you think anyone else could be qualified? And I'm not saying Donald Trump has been a bad president. So far, he tried his best to really handle this COVID situation, even though he hasn't done much to step up and try to get the Senate and the House of Reps to stop being like little bitches and get their shit together. I know I said what I said, but it's the truth. They're both too busy in their petty bickers to really get through and pass a stimulus package. I mean, it's not that difficult, y'all. It's not that difficult. They just don't want to shed the money out because they're worried about the recession and how they're going to have to face a bigger um, overall debt. But at the end of the day, you're putting your money back into the economy. I mean, middle and lower classes are a majority, and they're the reasons why all these economy, all these businesses are booming and what gets the U.S. economy pumping. You got to realize that. Put your invest. You're basically investing into us. So if you got to give us all eight hundred dollar checks, why not do it? You're investing into us to keep going further, to keep working hard, in spite of all the struggles that's against us. It's not that difficult. You you got nothing to lose. That's what I'm saying. It's like spitefulness and petty bickerness. Tories have shown it in throughout this album. You know, I've seen in other words, and I, even at times for me, when I'm working too, I, that shit can get to me. That's the thing that's the hardest thing for us humans to fight, is the spitefulness and the petty bicker arguments, man. Even when I get YouTube comments, man, people just still come in and still talk that hate and spite, and they try to make it sound like as if I'm hating spiteful, but you bringing that up. If you're really about the love, you come and talk to me like a grown ass man, but now nah, you just be like, oh, you know, like you a hater, and I'm like, you never took the time to even understand me. So, what does that make you? A hypocrite? I think so. Because I don't think you care about how I feel. So, what am I to you? Just an enemy? See what I mean? If you, The minute you don't understand someone, that's the opposition. That don't make no sense. That shouldn't be that way. 
we all may have different thinkings, different ways of doing things, but it shouldn't mean that we lose respect. I feel like we all have our ways, but at the end of the day, let's keep things real. You know what I mean? That's it. Go ahead. And you ain't find yourself inside of this war. The devil dive in your door. My black skin and Christians know the devil prides you more. My beautiful black daughters. The ones who lash out in class out of anger. The angle, the fact they had no fucking fathers. Or the ones they had would touch their daughters. We never knew because they was quiet in school. No one supports them and the affection only came from fuck niggas that love in portions. Or some older cats that never made love to fuck they forced it. But it's the way that love was taught to you, shorty. Nobody taught it. You kind of know that ain't your fault. You try to tell your mind comparing yourself to someone who's brought up in family genes. That mean mother father is present on family tree. That mean you don't take all the blame because they wasn't there. That just mean you a black queen whose life wasn't fair. But God give unfair to the favorites. None ears to the hate. Tests that bring you faith when it's unclear what the fate is. People talk about your untamed hair. Hair is my favorite. Dark skin and light skin and love you for what your shade is. It's black. Unapologetic and I say this because I'm pretty sure a lot of you hood cats really feel toy. You may think that I mean you don't know where I'm coming from. If you got an issue with what I'm saying, if you're trying to defend Tory, your best way to defend Tory and to fight me off is not to argue and bicker with me. Take what Tory is saying to you, whatever positive you feel like he's giving you. Take it and show and prove it to me that you can put it in your life and do something better with your life and show that with me. Transform your life and your folks and whoever is around you impact their lives for the better. You do that, at the end of it, everybody wins. So don't waste your time bickering with me. Channel that energy that into your own beneficial. So get motivated. Don't get mad. Get motivated. All right? That's all I can tell you. So don't get offended. Don't get don't get hurt by what I say about Tori. If you don't like it, back up your best way to back up Tori is to show that his words mean something to you and you're gonna make that happen in your life. The hell? Crazy. But that's all I gotta say to y'all. So fuck it. If you're really about that, if you really ain't filled with hate and spite, I challenge you to do that. That's a challenge. Let me see you do that with yourselves. Do that with your life. Centric, with enough curving ass for me to not have to mention all of my apprehension. With natural hair, you fierce, they told you you had to have extensions. That was capping past the fiction. Shorty, you a whole ninth in a championship where you batting that shit up past the fences. You know I'm past attentive. Let's make some last decisions. My black child, I'm saying this because I love you for love and come with the lessons. That's gonna live life all above you. The police gonna hate up on you. The government's never for you, but you can rise all above it as long as you keep your love. And I say this just because I can. So like I said, different message for different folks, man. Different strokes. Um, you gotta realize I'm still busy being hard on Tory as a critic, but this message could reach to folks that only they can understand. So I can understand that too from a perspective. Girls who really don't know about that life, he's trying to educate them for the better. So that's what I'm saying to y'all. Like if you really look up to Tory like that, don't get offended by what I say. Like I said, take what he said with you and get motivated and do something better with your life. Prove me wrong that it does affect you in a positive way. Don't turn it into a negative and turn that shit against me. Like I said, convert that into positive energy. All right. I think they have my own motives when it comes to Tori. Like I said, I just want him to keep going on his dreams and keep chasing. Don't worry about motivating others. You motivate others by just motivating yourself and continue to chase your dreams. So people keep shooting you down saying you can't be the greatest artist. Continue to keep working hard and don't settle for nothing less. Especially, man. Especially. Because that's what you've been doing man, in the past two years. I ain't fucking with that. That's all. That's all. Track number, oh, I don't know what track number this is. Maybe 16, but either way, it's like I got two more tracks. The next one is titled In The Air. Good thing social distance. God damn, give me one second. All right, let's That's where you niggas got it fucked up and twisted. They ain't scared about just a regular black man in America. Yeah, they fear that nigga too. But they fear the independent man. 
They fear the nigga who goes out and gets his. They fear the nigga that goes out and says, I ain't taking no for an answer. They fear the man that says, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make the corporation. They fear the man that thinks above the employee position. They fear the man that wants to be the boss. They fear the black man in America who's accomplished. When you step outside, when you're in that Benz, when you're in that Bentley, and you shine and you got your ice and your jewelry on, they fear you, nigga. You just gotta be stupid to not see what's going on out here. And try to black out every single successful black man in America. If being black is being culture, what's the cancel? If that's what you think, bro, you are a lot dumber than I think you is, homie. It's not about what you're wearing on the outside, it's about what you're wearing on the inside. Jewelry, really? Really, dog? Not everyone thinks like that. So what you see people like that? Leave them be. Like I said, they birds, they beneath you. I don't know why he's talking about that shit, man. Maybe he's trying to tell it to people who don't know shit better, but either way, nah, nigga, that ain't the way it go about it. I mean, fuck it. Like I said, it is what it is. Message for different strokes, different all that. Fuck. Sound like some white shit, the niggas planted on us. The cops killing only heroes are the camera quarters. We're major corporations rambling by niggas on Twitter when all they did was put BLM in their handles for us. Hoping your eyes they ain't standing for us. It's 2020, been a year, God planted for us. A lot of things he got planted for us. I'm in that ring like Rocky, I got a shot type Aki, but it's still a score. What's everybody in their feelings for? It's cause I'm aiming at the ceiling floor. Still popping on these niggas, waiting while they slither when I'm coming, they can feel it more. Only want my words just to switch them more. What do you do when they court lawyers is telling you not to talk? And as soon as you don't, you playing a villain for it. You got a lot of feelings still in store. Still hear stories that niggas talk about. Tory is over. I'm God's child and one of his most glorious soldiers. I'm working at the old man's custodian quota. I'm notorious for the stories of overcoming the poorest situations and coming out glorious from them. Niggas taught us to sell dope when you bought in the summer. He was lacking a couple cats that got caught in the summer. Put up on him, they started clapping his dome in the summer. No wonder. I wish my dog, I used to fuck with him hard He pull up to the tour bus with the dog He used to tell me I'm a dawn and I'm a prince And how I come with the charm And laugh back and say don't fuck with no frogs Lil' cause you a star, take me to the back, bust a cigar Told me rappers stop hustling raw But I was doubling hard Next step, cop coming and call And you was always there to bust up a charge Shit just fuck with me hard Now it's panning out, news camera standing out Wrongfully accused, but on the news is what the man about even my old friend's hands wasn't out Tell me what that's all about Fame got us falling out Niggas hated on me, made me grind harder It's gonna be people that's gonna switch when the time's harder The door is open for a short line of niggas And it figures it's the time I ain't trying to make my line longer I made my mind stronger I made my heart colder I work the best when my back is about to wall for you I'm going through some changes Close friends turning strangers I'm trying to turn the pages Even though it's anger in my heart for you Yeah, more important than ever The snow is falling on my brain in the coldest December I tell a lie like you're on fire, but I'm holding together I'm back on pace for the race I'm at a rate when niggas just start blowing this cheddar So damn hard that I part ways with both of my hoes I had them both tripping out and going together For all the ones that know me better, you know I'm fed up The only way to hold a setup is to know a setup I don't like to do this, y'all just act like I ain't human Please don't listen to the rumors that they try looting I've never hit no woman, why the fuck would I just do this? This be that dark label shit them niggas trying to do me I know the secrets and I know the fuckery And they don't want me to say nothing so they trying to shut Got the only one in line to judge me The other side are kind of ugly and they try to fuck me Yeah, what happened to the times to help itself When we dehumanize the celebrities with mental health Don't know the story so we make one and upset ourselves So nine days I feel a pain from certain niggas I ain't never felt We just marched in unity about us being brothers And y'all ain't even hear my side, it's how we being brothers It's kind of crazy, white folks ain't even saying nothing Only celebs I'm seeing hating on my same color Get it together, we gotta get it together My nigga, we black skinned, we gotta live it together Fuck how you feeling about me, we got a mission together You gotta listen cause talk to them all you want bro at the end of the day they won't move until you get people where I'm at moving with you dog you gotta move that crowd with you bro when they see all that many people walk with you then they gonna realize they was in the wrong they're not gonna notice this right now bro so say what you say I got you it's cool God bless you bro you're doing your best but, like I said, man, you got it so easy, dog. Don't feel like you got to do anything more extra than what God has laid out for you. Your music, you represent underdogs in the way, bro. Just keep it s similar to that theme and you're fine, bro. 
I get where you're coming from. People been, sh it's still been their home. You've been living this life as an underdog, bro. You're still an underdog. But at the end of the day, you're still a wolf. They treating you like a dog, but you're a wolf. You know what you're capable of. So just keep going, bro. Just don't let them farm raise your ass. You're still a wild wolf in the nature. Be you. That's all I'm saying, dog. Go out there, roam free, man. And keep it up. But like it's at the same time, remember we have a responsibility too to what we put out there. And if we have to put out there something with substance, it has to hit hard in a way that we can do it. Look, I've heard many niggas rap like this, many niggas can talk like this, but you have your own way. Don't just speak on a way where you're talking to other people. Talk about what you would do for yourself, how you would go about it. That's your best way, bro. That's your way of being a role model. I've heard this before, how you get yourself in a mentality, be like, I got to do this. Bro, that's where your money maker is. No knock on this. This is still good substance, but I'm just saying. Continue to show them how you carry yourself. And when they see you, some people, they watch you by a true leader moves by the action, not by what they speak on. So far, you've been handling yourself well. Like I said, the only slip up I think was you talking to Hot New Hip Hop about your, that that was a bad look. That's something that you really didn't need because now everyone's going to think you're only about the music and you don't really care about the substance. They're going to look at this and be like, but that's the only time you ever talked about something. And you know what I mean? So I think I wish you would have waited on that. I wish you would have just let the records right here talk for itself. You don't need to go tweet to Hot New Hip Hop. Leave that alone. Maybe you're close with... um what's her name Amber no with Rose Leela or whatever her name is she used to be like all about writing articles about you I know your ties with hot new hip hop is close like that but at the end of the day I wish you would just let it be and let the music speak for itself bro other than other than other than that though like fuck it bro you came in and did your thing uh, and so and I wouldn't I mean I'm not gonna call this album a masterpiece but it's a step in the right direction for you um, I probably would say out of every project you've dropped in the in the trendy lames era, which means like I consider the trendy lames era was when the day Tori switched his music up to fit what the industry mode was from when he was under Mad Love and all that till now, depending on by the time he drops the next project. And when I know I hear Fargo, when I hear Fargo, I know he's back. I keep I know I said it a couple times in this video. I was like, oh, I think he's coming. I'm getting too excited. I need to slow down because I'm moving too fast. He's not there yet. He's not there. So I got to be more patient and understand it takes time. So with Tori, I think I can wait. I think because I was so used to him just snapping like that, he could get shit popping. That's the problem with me. I'm too impatient because I got that music that he got dropping, man. He was dropping so many good music. That shit was like addiction, man. Like, cocaine man like ridiculous so it's all about cutting back relaxing let him do his thing go out there and do you you know no stressing uh, but yeah fuck it man he's solid he's good you know and I know when he gets it kicking back into gears again he's gonna be unstoppable Living together, fuck how you feeling about me We got a mission together, you gotta listen Cause God, he gotta get his endeavor Preach, Tori, you in the situation Not because he's hating, he's using Megan as a vessel And a test of faith, and even when you At the bottom, it's when he makes his way in God, thank you for turning me into a demonstration He gets it Like I said, the only slip up Was talking to our new hip hop Everything else, like I said, if you would have let this music talk, that's it. End of discussion. Next song is the last song on this album. It's titled Life Featuring Yoko Gold Again. After this, I can go and get some damn sleep. Damn it, Tori, only you can do this. Nigga, I was supposed to get up at 7 yeah. in the morning. Fuck. Names that you know me by, praise to the holy high. Shipping a lonely ride, all I do is only try Weed is my only high, magazine 45 I can turn the pain in my youngin' from my shorty's eyes Rap niggas getting at me, young niggas picking at me I'm shooting past the limits, her niggas trigger happy Shade room getting nasty, black girls flipping at me Best friends switching on me, shit that leaves a nigga happy White drapes on the wall, white bags on the call 
Spanish joints on the car, white grape on the palm. Champagne when you see us, man came from the Sears. JC and Penny Marshalls, I felt that it is awful. Fake niggas try to play me, lame bitches try to blame me. Same niggas gassed up, same niggas try to flame me. We made it past the margin and past the section 80. We got white people marching, this shit is fucking crazy. We gon' be on the famous, I'm so beyond the faker. It's real shit going on, Georgia, Breonna Taylor. Type shit ain't on the focal, fly bitches on my scrotum. They pay me for appearance and pay me for my vocals. Yeah, fuck all that happy shit niggas want me on. Sniggers in my line of work that want me gone. House that come with a long. I'm telling you. A lot of people are taking advantage of the situation. Meg did it, saying she don't want to talk about her being a victim and all that. Because, oh, they going to kill me for being a victim. Bullshit. You know what I mean? Like I said, Breonna Taylor was just an unfortunate situation. It happens. Sometimes mistakes happen. All right? You think he knew there was a fucking person? I mean, yeah, there could have been a person on the other side of the wall, but you never know. You just don't know. I don't think it's fair to judge that person out. That's why I think the verdict was correct. As much as you hate to hear that, it was correct. You show me any further proof that he knew there was someone. I mean, come on. He didn't intentionally shoot and kill Breonna Taylor. He was trying to shoot somebody else. Man. That's all I can say. So that's why I don't like this, man. This propaganda. People are taking advantage of it. That's why I like certain, like, uh, the name of the basketball player who didn't take a knee. He just stood up because he had his own belief. And he even felt like he had to stand to believe that black lives matter. See what I mean? You don't need this shit. It's just a propaganda. And it's like, people are pushing agendas. Hey and Ned, when they don't need to be agendas pushed. It's just, let the love heal everything. Love and time heals, man. It does. Like I said, Martin Luther King took out segregation with love, with words of patience, kindness, wisdom. Okay? And people want to make fun of him. Oh, I believe. Like as if he's hallucinating. Like, nigga, you ain't drinking from the colored fountain no more. You ain't never had to drink from that because Martin Luther King Jr. took that away. Okay? With peaceful protests and many people joining alongside him. He didn't do it by himself. He had he had his hands out willing to work with everyone that's willing to show love and compassion. He wanted to show that. That's what it takes. All right? You want to talk up? This is arrogance. Oh, we got to... Like, most of the people here, like, most of y'all just talking all... We ain't get... That's just arrogance. LeBron James, you're arrogant. All of you fucking, like... Uh, all the female um, actors I saw... Gabrielle Union and all that. All oh, black women don't get no respect in this and that. Gabrielle Union, who the fuck don't? Okay, fuck, forget America's got talent. You portray some of the most respectful figures on film and on movies. Why wouldn't you have respect? I don't like that term. Okay, last I checked, do I even hear Candace Owens say that? And she's getting hella flanked, hella hate, shade thrown her way. I don't understand this, man. I really don't. Like, y'all really got to twist. It's like the real ones are holding it up, but no one wants to listen to them talk. And then the ones who are just faking and just pushing agendas and really causing all this madness to continue to just get, like, pouring gasoline, that's who everyone's paying attention to, and they're just getting more mad and infuriated. It's like, have patience, damn it. You birds are too stupid, man. That's all it is. Spouse that come with a charm, lamb that sit in garage, that don't come from the farm. I see wonderful views. We got, got me in a pen, he one of my dudes. I let one of y'all choose. I was one of them dudes. Where if you was them, then you would probably front on me too. Yeah, if I was you and you and me, I would stun on me too. Cash from seeing blessings. I got too much money at this point to be aggressive. I hate being outside, knowing I need to stress it. I hate overproving myself when I be impressive. Preach, nigga. Get in the groove now, so I'm like giving it my own. Shit now. Lame niggas talk about me, same niggas walk around me, hate me and strongly doubt me. I feel like Robert Downey, back through the fly again, whole saying hi again, newly and improved suit. Yeah, I'm bitch, I'm Iron Man, hot in the bacon oil, sitting in the frying pan, new set of wings on me, Red Bull flying man. We don't even count the money, we weigh it up and we out of bands. I'm pulling fucking strings, I feel like out of banks. God, I'm using my situation to break the limitations. So I pass the niggas hating, more past the shit that's waiting. Devil in his recreations, black on black segregation. Turning us against each other, faith and got a test.
your patience. Black boy shine, nigga. Black women grow, baby. Black boy and black women together. That's a soul, baby. That's on my soul, baby. Down to the toes, baby. The feeling to feel like did it, did it, did it, did it. Let's have some conversations and for the contemplations. Look how we live in young world, people are the abomination. Shit is a prime example. Truth in the time I answer. Truth in the time I tell, like Mike and Jeff when it's time to sample. Slide through the vacant door. Fuck niggas hate me more. Have we got this critical that we can't even be human and let niggas even make mistakes anymore? What happened to being us? What happened to being more? What's up? just shows in the lyrics man speed in that bugatti why are you bringing up fucking cars this is supposed to be about something about life man really really like how am i supposed to take you serious man you sound more like a joke fuck out of here man i really don't want to hear that man something tells me as a preach as a preacher your daddy didn't spank you hard enough man god dang bro how you gonna really come through with that bullshit oh man all i know is growing up my mom and my dad raised me to show love and compassion out of us treat people right and the funniest part is they more blacker than some of you motherfuckers here so i don't care what anyone says about me i a kid used to say if i took a shower i'd be white I wanted to knock that kid out. But then again, I remembered how hard my parents worked to pay for that tuition for me to attend that semester. And I said, nah, I'm not gonna waste their money like that and get kicked out. I already got in too many fights early on, back in fourth grade and all that. And I was already I was already on the watch list for any more bad, you know, disciplinary actions, man. I'm no, nah, I was done. But man, I'm like you disrespectful as fuck. My parents, and people don't understand this shit. Everyone wants to take for granted what they got here. That's why I don't really care for all this. Like, y'all acting to, uh, to me, y'all seem extra. Because I've, I grow up with what my mom and my dad told me they had to go through, okay? They both fought in a civil war. My mom was 16 when she came to America. My dad was 18. My dad was a soldier. He was forced to kill people. All right? They were forced to be drafted young. Do you know what that feels like? I know for a fact I don't. But seeing the pain in their eyes and how they were just happy for them. They wanted life the moment they got here to this country and they escaped that life. So who am I to blame them, man, like for things, you know, like they wanted me to have the best edu education, man. They worked hard, bro. Worked hard. I feel bad to this day that I stopped after high school, but I knew that the system was messed up. So that's where I agree with Tori. There's some things I agree with them, some I don't. You know, it is what it is. But like I said, you know, like, you know, knowledge. I mean, they want us to work hard, get A's and B's, but it's like, if we don't have that. Are you going to really give us grants? Are you really going to be out there to support us with, I mean, tuitions and all that? I don't even really care about living in a dorm or nothing like that. How about you just let us attend the classes? You know, you want us to pay for the books, fine, but let us ha ha let us go to the classes, man. Oh man, they just I don't understand that. Like, you want to donate? How about you donate the money to pay all that? You know, that way we don't have to pay for anything for classes. We don't have to pay all that. Just you want to donate the money? Donate the money to the colleges, to the teachers teaching, it, and then there, then they got their money. Everyone's got their money. They're happy, and then they can actually teach us. You know what I mean? So that's how I feel. Like it should be like that. Anyways, I know grants and tuitions, they're supposed to do that. You give the money to the students, but how about that? Don't make the students have to pay in the first place, man. Let us attend if we're if we want to. You know, I understand. I feel like knowledge, bro, they make it difficult. Like knowledge is probably the most important thing you could ever get for free. And like I have there's other ways to get it besides going to college, man. There really was. But my parents, back to the topic, like I said, they worked hard, man. And they didn't see anything other than that as a way out. And I just felt like there's other ways out. And that's why I'm still chasing my dreams, man. But it just I'm just saying, like, 
what they had to go through, it was tough. It was brutal. Not just them. My aunt, too. She was a nurse. She had to see so many things she probably was never prepared to see. You know, my uncles barely got away from that as, you know, young kids and, you know, the war ended and all that. Like, it's just, it, it was a bad time. Like, stuff was going on in other worlds and other countries. Everyone's too busy focusing here in America. They don't realize what's going on outside of this country, man. It's just ignorance. And to me, I think that's what hurts this country the most is people aren't willing to see everything outside of their own pain and misery. Like, you got to see other people's pain and misery, too. And when you can see that, that's when you truly can understand. And I'm not talking about just the people that was living next door to you as your neighbors. I'm talking about people that live across the state, you know, different states, different areas. It don't matter. Like, we all got pain. And if we understand those pain and learn to work with each other, I feel like that's when we truly can grow. If we, sh if we find love and show that we do want to love and show support to one another, man. It's as simple as that. Not easy as in it's going to happen overnight, but it's a path that if we keep our mind focused on that, it can be achievable. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, that's it. I think that's it. I don't know if I pause it too early. I think it's just Yoko Gold's going to be busy. No, there's something. There's one more minute. Hold on. You know what? I realize I, I want to be like a uh, a walking testimony to, to to kids or to to teens and people who are worldwide that you know they allow like the internet, the social media, the fake ass cancel culture to, to bring them down. And you know, thirty comments, two hundred comments, a thousand comments about you one day brings your world down. I want y'all to look at me and realize I'm walking testimony of. Someone who just doesn't give a fuck about none of that shit. You know, imagine the whole fucking world, a bunch of millions of motherfuckers just hating at the same time. Acting like, as, as if you're not human, as if, you know, a thousand death threats later, you gonna feel the same, you gonna, you know. But, and all that, you know, I kept a smile on my face because I knew what I know. And beyond everything, I want you to look at my situation and gain strength from me. And realize that nigga the same way I ain't give a fuck you don't gotta give a fuck either and whatever you're going through shall pass just like everything else in your life you know, the waves go they go and, and you keep sailing just keep sailing keep sailing keep sailing eventually you get to your destination and guess what you look back and you can't even see niggas no more so never forget three things how special you are purpose you're coming and the reason you're here God bless you <laughs> that's probably the realest thing I've heard Tori say in a long time he's only talking that type of voice I've only heard him talk like I haven't heard him sound like that really get deep with it since happiness tell me from memories don't die and taking a step further back Loners Boulevard. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the album. They start. I could have sworn there was one more song, man. I don't know if I'm missing anything, but either way, that's that's something else, dog. Already, he's got like eight thousand views and all that. It's all in there. I'm not even going to say anything, man. I'm going to let... This is all I'm going to comment, man. <laughs> man. So. Yeah. That's it. Album's done. I'm done. I'm tired. It's about to be... It's already 2 in the morning. I'm ready to sleep, man. I'm tired. Fuck this shit. Uh... But I think Tori's got the right mindset. He needs to just sail away and move on. You know you're a living testimony. So if you're watching this, that's all you got to do. Is just keep walking. Walk the walk. And don't sweat it. But like I said, your music reflects who you are. So don't let fakeness.